with Martin Bester. Big, big news the last week or so was the uh, motion of uh, confidence uh, that was um, raised by Action SA against uh, the mayor of Twane, Celia Brink. News came in yesterday, Gerda, that it has been uh, postponed. Really. Yes, so the ANC planned on broad bringing that motion initially yesterday, mm. then it was today. Mm. Now it has been temporarily withdrawn, withdrawn. against the mayor. Okay. Action SA has now become sort of the the kingmaker in this thing in Twani because they were part or they are still part of the coalition that's ruling the capital, with leading led by the DA. But now Action is a this week gave indications that they might go with the ANC and vote against the mayor. Well, he is on the line. Hmm. The uh, mayor of Chwane, Salia Brink, Salia, goeie morgen, dankie vir jou tyd. Morgen, Martin, goed te by jou te geself. Luister, ok, so, uh, you know what, um, I, this is a lot for anyone to understand, often, politics. Hmm. <laughs> now, have we been misled by the word unity in gov- uh, national government of unity? Did you know, uh, Action SA, have you been aware, uh, have they been disgruntled, have they raised concerns in meetings leading up to this motion? So Martin, coalition governments are by their very nature uncertain and we're still a young coalition country, you know, so we're still exploring. And I really thought, and so did many of my partners, that Swane was the model because the relationship between the DA Action SA, the FF Plus here, was actually quite good. Mm. Uh, I've got an excellent working relationship with my Action SA Deputy Mayor, Dr. Masipi Boya. Uh, we are making significant progress. You know, service delivery is not yet great. We're certainly not at the Cape Town level of service delivery, but we're doing all of the stuff that needs to be done to eventually get there, including okay. many difficult decisions. Mm-hmm. So a clear answer to your question, no. There's been no grievance. All of the disputes have been resolved. But what is evident is that in the past few weeks, Herman Mashaba, the leader of Action SA, has had meetings with individuals inside the ANC. Mm. And then he started making statements on social media, attacking the coalition, Mm. attacking the DA. And this has sown some doubt in the minds of his own people. And I think we're now at a position where I can't tell you whether Action SA is in or out. I think there is internal disagreement. There's confusion. You know, uh, perhaps it's because they've never had an elective conference. So you, you don't have elected leaders. Everybody is appointed by the guy who pays the bills. Mm. And that makes it incredibly difficult to have a conversation with anyone to say, you know, we're in or out, or this is our problem, yeah. or this is what we so want. It, it kind of took you by surprise. Well, it hasn't. It's not exactly surprising, given what Herman Mashaba has been saying on social media uh, and so forth. And given the fact that I've been trying to get a meeting with the leadership of Action SA, that is to say the the national and provincial leaders, for the past week and a half. uh, And there's been commitments and then they never show up. But then I found out they're meeting with other parties. So it's not a case of not being available. It's just, you know, I I think they're trying to buy time to reach an agreement with the ANC and the EFF. (sighs) That's the only thing I can, can conclude. So where do you think this is coming from? Who did he meet where, where, who's, what's, what's the south is there wie gesai? What, what gaan aan? So I think there are various uh, factions in the ANC, obviously not, you know, the national and provincial, all sorts of, of, of players will need to agree to, to a deal. And I think Mashaba met with one of these people and he got very excited. And I think what's really going on here, Action SA did quite badly in the election. They blame the DA for that. They say that the multi-party charter was the reason for them doing badly, which is not true. Um, you know, if, if the multi-party charter had enough votes, if Action SA had brought in enough votes, we could have formed a government in Gauteng and potentially at national level. But we simply didn't have those votes. And so the multi-party charter uh, couldn't uh, be part of, of government. And uh, and I think that uh, Herman now thinks that, that uh, his best way is to try and take a sledgehammer to the DA. So it's, it's very unfortunate. But Martin, the one thing I want to assure you is, like we averted this motion of no confidence, um, we will continue to keep government stable. So I know it's uncertain, there's confusion, but the mayoral committee stays the same for now. We, we still have a, a city manager who's doing an excellent job. And we will 
uh, stay calm, we'll stay collected and we'll make the best decisions for the city. Obviously, the political future is uncertain, but we will keep fighting for the residents of Tswane. Good morning, um, Silja. It's Khada from the newsroom. You've mentioned Hello, the elections and in that breath, we are two years away from local elections. So mm. is this part of campaigning? And if it is, how will we survive two years if this is the start of when we vote in 2026? Listen, Gerda, I've, I've got no doubt that if Action SA, well, in fact, I think Action SA is going to be wiped out in 2026, given what they've done. But my bigger concern is what's going to happen to the city, because we now have a, a good top management. We're making progress. There's been a lot of disruptions in Swane. I mean, being placed under provincial administration, that being set aside by the court. There's just been so much instability. And it felt like these 17 months was was a period where we were storing ourselves and setting ourselves up for better service delivery. So so that is a significant risk. What what I would want to avoid at all costs is to have the EFF in government. Uh, to me, they are a party that is against the values of the constitution. They've played an incredibly disruptive role in Johannesburg and, and Ekuruleni. And we must try and avoid that. Uh, and, and I don't know exactly how we'll do it at this stage, um, but my commitment is to this city. Uh, I'm not going anywhere uh, and will fight uh, to the last man. Um, Silja, you have you are the city with the seat of government. The union buildings is looking out are over Pretoria. Mm. Government of national union on national level, um, but yet there's a grapple for, for Tswane yeah. in Gauteng. So is this yeah. part of politics for the greater of Gauteng? We've seen what happened in Joburg. Yeah, you make a very important point. I mean, we've got this government of national unity. Uh, I believe it's it's the it's the best of the worst scenarios in the sense of, you know, the DA had to keep the EFF and MK out of government, and there's a, a real sense that maybe the GNU can work. Maybe we can take hands, get the economy growing, create jobs, and restore this this pride and sense of optimism in South Africa. I think it would be really bad if our capital city had the kind of confusion and malaise that you see in Johannesburg. You know, mm-hmm. the mayor making comments that have, that have absolutely no basis in law or any kind of policy. Uh, and I don't think anybody wants that kind of confusion for the capital city. So the leaders of, of my party have, have reached out to provincial and local, uh, provincial and, na- and national ANC leaders with the view to getting some kind of a stability arrangement. Um, something like we agree not to bring a motion of no confidence in uh, Ekuruleni against them not bringing a motion of no confidence in Tswane. Uh, I think there is uh, there's the potential for such a thing just to bring a measure of stability because heaven knows you don't want the seat of the government of national unity um, being a complete mess uh, and that is what we what we must avoid. Last question quickly. You mentioned earlier that service delivery is not where it should be. You acknowledge that. It's going to long path. It's going to be a long road to getting it uh, closer to perfect. What is service delivery's biggest enemy? Well, I think political instability for one, because the threat is if you get a new mayor, the parties in government would want to go uh, and and remove the top officials and place their own people there. Mm-hmm. We in Swane have made the conscious decision we are not going to bring politicians into management positions. Our commissioner of police is not a DA member or an ANC member or an EFF member. She is simply a professional who wants to do her job. And that is the biggest risk. It's that instability. And related to that, you know, when these municipal officials who whose culture, whose organizational culture we're trying to shape, when they look to the politics and they see oh no, you know, folks want to get rid of the mayor. So I can just continue, I must just continue doing what I'm doing. I, you know, I don't have an imperative to to implement the policy of the government. It's that uncertainty that this creates Mm. that is most damaging. Um, But again, I don't want to end on on a negative note because the people we've brought in are excellent. We are changing the culture. I'm even getting calls of support from the trade unions who a few months ago uh, wanted to bring our city to its needs because of a pay dispute. So I honestly believe that there is something to preserve here. There's a lot of uncertainty, but we'll do our best to to salvage the situation. Salia, bye. Thank you for your time.
uh, recht dankie, daarvoor, Martin. baie dankie en uh, sterkte en lekker naweek vir jou en jou familie hoor. Vir jou ook, bye bye. Dankie, bye bye. You're with your own family. Breakfast with Martin Bester.